Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we're looking at section 5.4, one of the things that's important in 5.4 to start with is to remember something in the past, an acronym that some of you have been taught called FOIL, which stands for first, outer, inner, and last. And this acronym is used when you're multiplying together two binomials. So, for example, in this first example, 2x plus 3 multiplied by 3x minus 4. The first two terms together, 2x times 3x, would give me 6x squared. The outer terms, which would be as far out as you can get, 2x times negative 4 would be negative 8x. The inner, which is as close as you can get, 3 times 3x is 9x. And the last two, the last one here is 3, the last one here is negative 4, so the product is negative 12. When you collect like terms, the two middle terms would combine to x, so you're left with 6x squared plus x minus 12. In the next example, the same thing happens. x times x is x squared. The outer product is 7x. The inner product is 3x, and the last two multiplied together is 21. When you collect like terms, you're left with x squared plus 10x plus 21. And in this last example, the same thing happens. The front terms together, or as the acronym calls first, give me x squared. The outer, the product, would be 8x. The inner, the product, would be negative 3x. And the last two, the product, would be negative 24. When you collect like terms, the middle collapses to 5x. One of the things that I want you to notice here before we go on in this material, when you multiply together a binomial times a binomial, in most cases you get a trinomial. So what we're getting ready to do in this section is to reverse this process. So if I look at this next example, let me make this a little bigger for you, and let me slide on over. Okay, let's look at this top example. If I was asked to factor the expression x squared minus 21x minus 100, the first thing I look for is a greatest common factor, but the greatest common factor here is just a 1. In other words, the most you could pull out of all three terms would be a 1. But if I reverse this process using the FOIL method, I can actually rewrite this as a product. Notice down here, because this was a trinomial, I put my two binomial brackets by parens and my parens. The front term had to be an x and an x to get x squared. Now this is where this kind of trial and error process comes in. The last term has to be a negative 100, so I chose negative 25 and a positive 4. But we have to make sure that gives us the correct middle. Here's the best way to make sure you get the middle correctly, because there are other ways to have gotten a negative 100. I just chose these two numbers with the correct signs. It's trial and error. You may not make the right choice the first time. But notice what happens here. I call this the chin and grin way to check it. The chin, I call that that little inner product called, you know, I call it the chin, like the little chin. Negative 25 times x is negative 25x. The grin is my outer wide grin, which would give me a product of 4x. And negative 25x plus 4x gives me negative 21x in the middle. So I teach my students the trial and error method, and then I tell them to check it with chin and grin. So if we looked at this next example, 2x squared minus 5x minus 3, the first thing I would do is look for a GCF, but the only GCF here is a 1. So then because it's a trinomial, because there were three terms, I try, excuse that, I try the FOIL method. And in the front, I would need 2x squared, so I have a 2x and an x. In the back, I need a negative 3, so I'm going to try a positive 1 and a negative 3. 
And just to make sure this works, let's do chin and grin. 1 times x is 1x. Let's do the grin, which is the outer one. 3x, or rather 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. So the 1x and the negative 6x gave me the negative 5x. And the last one I want to look at on this movie, t cubed minus 11t squared plus 24t. The first step always is to take out your GCF. In this case, you take out a t, leaving me with t squared minus 11t plus 24. This t stays in front, but this trinomial can be factored using FOIL. Now, one hint here I want to give you. Whenever the last sign in a trinomial is positive, the two signs here are always going to be the same as the middle. Whenever this is positive, this is, these two signs are the same as the middle, so they're both going to be negative. There's different ways to get 24, but I tried 8 and 3, and you can see why it worked. If I chin and grin it, negative 8t combined with negative 3t gives me negative 11t, so I know that we did this correctly. Some of you have also been taught a method called the AC method, which is um, a perfectly acceptable factoring method, but uh, trial and error seems to be the major preference. But if you know the AC method, by all means use it.